This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Barb LaSalle back with us on FYI. Welcome back all the way from Kempville. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> We're going to talk about the uh, the play that you are presenting with the Kempville Youth Musical Theatre Company, Matilda. It really has been four years in the making, Barb. <laughs> yes, yes. A long, long show. <laughs> you, you had it all ready to go four years ago before COVID. Yeah, in 2020. So in uh, in 2019, we cast the, the first cast. And in 2020, we were we were ready. We were at the complex. We were having tech runs. We were, you know, polishing the show uh, when COVID hit, and we were all we were all shut down. So, I, yeah, that that um, had to be heartbreaking for a lot of people that were involved, especially when you're working with youth too. It really, it, I mean, initially it wasn't because we kept thinking, oh, two weeks, yes. you know, we'll be back, we'll be back. And I don't know how many times we reset the dates and tried to get this show going. But you know, after a year, um, we realized that no, this wasn't this wasn't going to happen. You know, we knew we had to wait for a vaccine. Right. So uh, when people started getting vaccinated, and then last year we decided not to because because we had, you know, we we're basically our finances are set up so that we're we're one show ahead, so we can actually mount a show without having to, you know dip into our own pockets, right? Which is what I had to do initially when I started the company. And we, if we have any extra money, we, we donate it, you know, like we donated to the gazebo in Oxford Mills, we donated, we did a whole show uh, for the Dara um, mental illness for youth, things like that. Um, so we never have enough money to kind of, you know, deal with a pandemic. So unfortunately, we had basically mounted a show and then we didn't sell a ticket, right? So last year, um, we decided that we better wait another year just, just to be on the safe side because if we tried to mount it and it was shut down again, we'd be done yes. as a company. We just couldn't come back from that. That's right. That's right. Well, you're back and bigger than ever this year. We it's, are. It's called we Matilda. Are, and it, it's just such a great show and we've been able to perfect it because obviously we've had four years to do it. <laughs> <laughs> now you had to recast, but you have some of the originals from four years ago as well. We do. Yes. That's right. So that's nice yes, to see them come there's... back and they, they can see it through its fruition. <laughs> they can. And you know, some of our, some of our kids from the original cast, you know, have come back and, and have cheered on these guys. Um, and that must be heartbreaking for them, you know. Some of these, some of these kids, it was their last show, you know, because we have an age cap, right? And um, it just, it must be heartbreaking for them. But they've, they've come back with a smile on their face, and they're just doing the best they can for these kids that are, that are on stage now. Yes. So our Miss Honey, as Zaria Shams, she's going to come back and she's going to review the show, and give feedback to the kids because that's what we do every year. We bring back some of the some of our vets, and they come and they they help the kids get to become better actors and actresses. Because I only, you know, I I have one point of view, right? I, you know, everybody gets their blinders on, right? So I think it's nice to have a whole bunch of people looking at the show with fresh eyes and adding, you know, just keep adding adding to it, making it better. That's right. That's right. We're always learning. You've got to accept it. We're always we learning. Always, yes. Yeah. Always learning. You don't get ahead if you're not. You're not. So can you talk about a little bit about what the play Matilda is about? Sure. Sure. It's about a little girl who uh, was unwanted and uh, born in this into this family that didn't want a child. They had a child. They didn't want another child. And uh, she has been mistreated. So... Anyway, somehow she's developed these powers. She at five years old she can she can read crime and punishment. She can, you know, like she can read a book in Russian, you know, things like that. Um and she go basically they 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 come and tell her that they have to send the kid to school. So she goes to school and it's uh Crunchham Hall, which is run by Miss Trunchbull. And Matilda sees these stories in her head and starts telling this story and uh, I don't want to give too much away but anyways 
it's a it's a Truncham Hall is a Cruncham Hall is a is a place where all kids are mistreated almost like a you know back in the medieval times or back in in you know 19th century or 18th century uh, England when you know they had these orphanages and things like that with workhouses basically and Matilda comes to the rescue and uh, she won't she won't be turned away she's very smart so she does all sorts of nifty little things to keep her power that's right well it's so nice when a child is the hero you know <laughs> it is it is you know and and uh you know and i i hope that people people see that that you know we, we're all as adults too we have a responsibility to care for young people so mm -hmm. that's right that's right and now as a, the artistic director too like this like she sees things and and she's got powers and everything so as the artistic director you have to make that happen you have to make the audience see that yeah yeah so that must have been difficult or different maybe just a different challenge well, <laughs> it, it it helps you to think from it about it from another angle you know mm -hmm. uh to try and create illusions and um to try and ha make these tricks happen without the audience being aware of how it's being done right right yeah right wow wow that that's but it's uh... fun you know like it's just it's just fun to try and figure it all out right 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 and i, yeah. I like before we even we started taping you, you use the word fun a lot too you, you're you are having fun if you're not having fun you know <laughs> you're oh, not putting absolutely. your best foot forward Abs absolutely you know if you're not having fun telling stories i i don't know when you would have fun yeah you know that's right but to make the story come alive is just it's just fantastic and you know like i have the best team we just we just work together so well and uh we all want the best for the kids excellent we excellent. all want them to succeed and uh so it's just such a great team to just listen to each other and, and brainstorm and come up with ideas and it's just so much fun that's great that's great now it's it's the uh it's going to be between april 15th and april 30th that's right and it's yeah. going to be at the urbandale arts center in kemphill at the municipal complex beautiful yes. theater by the way too it's a beautiful theater. Yes. big yeah. stage too it's a very big stage it's a beautiful stage mm -hmm. yeah that's right so tickets are on sale they've already started they have yeah okay and yeah. how do people get tickets they can get them from our website at kymtc.org or they can uh, go to brood awakenings in kempville and get tickets there okay and how many shows are there going to be there's seven this year there's, there's seven. only seven we weren't we weren't sure about having eight just because of maybe people were scared to come and you know that sort of thing so excellent excellent yeah, and it's like we said we talked earlier too you you started doing this four years ago you've got six original cast you you uh because you're a youth musical you uh i don't know what the word age out you there's we have a certain an age, age out yeah, yeah. An age cap so yeah 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 so that's unfortunate that some of them can't come back but they're in the audience they're supporting and as well too you have summer camps too where a lot of your students come back and and help at the summer camps yes. as well um, summer camps are, are for the even younger kids so that they can develop their skills and uh, at an earlier age and then come out and, uh, you know, maybe be a part of the main show. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So you've got a summer yeah. camp uh, going on this year, too, and they're looking for registration. Yeah. That's going to fill up for, uh, really fast. And it's going to be M Moana. Moana. We've already started registering. I'd say we're two thirds full. So Excellent. if you're at all interested, I think there's only... From my last count, eight spots left. Wow, wow. Okay, so how do people get a hold of you? Um, they can. Well, there's a on our website kymtc.org. There is a, a way to to uh, get a hold of people, um, and we'll address any any issue. We'll send it to the the camp people. Excellent. And uh, any any questions that you have about the camp, or any questions that they have about the main show, just send it there and. And we'll deal with it. And your Facebook page is wonderful too. You've got some pictures of the practices going on, and it, it, yeah, it's, it's oh, going to be yeah, fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's going to be a great show. It's going to be a great show. So once again, it's between April fifteenth and April thirtieth. Matilda is going to be played at the Urbandale Art Center in Kemphill. Good luck. Well, I should say break a leg, right? Break a leg. <laughs> break a leg. <laughs> Barb Lassell, thank, thank you very Kathy. much for joining us. The artistic director of Matilda. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Kathy.